this Friday, live on the DAZN app, we'll see the return of the big drama show when Triple G steps into the ring facing Camille Zerameda. Scheduled for 12 rounds in a middleweight championship bout. Triple G is looking to return with his mantra, the big drama show, as he seeks more championship challenges in 2021. But first, he has to get past this match. What are your thoughts? Let's talk about it. What's good, YouTube? Stormy B-Man, and I'm back with a pre- and post-fight editorial. Before we get started, let me say shout-out to the LDBC, the Lions Den Boxing Community, and Liberated Perspective, a third-eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. So, when this video began, we were going into Friday's event on the 18th where Gennady Golovkin was making a return to the ring after being away for just about a year, coming off of a close unanimous decision victory over Sergei Devranchenko. This Friday, December 18th, saw him taking on Camille Zeremita and in a comeback bout we saw Zeremita retire in the later rounds after being downed about three to four times by Triple G who did not look like the big drama show man that he had claimed to be all of this time. At the age of 38 Triple G has probably seen his finer days. He's still pining for a rubber match with Canelo Alvarez, but we'll get to that in a minute. Zeramenta was the type of fighter that a fighter like Triple G would take in the interim to ensure that he is not accosted or takes any punishment before facing a better quality, quality caliber fighter. With only five knockouts on his record of now 21 and one, Zeramenta never met a challenge for Triple G in this go around. He was very game though. He stood in, he tried to fight back but he was not on Triple G's level. Triple G is now 41 and one with one draw and 36 KOs. The worst part of last Friday's event was the fact that they were saying that he had now passed Bernard Hopkins with 21 middleweight title defenses, which is totally false because he dropped a major decision to Saul Canelo Alvarez back in 2018. 
September to be exact. There was no way that after suffering a loss that you continue a title defense reign. How can you when you suffered a loss? This, which was broadcast astutely over the match room and the zone broadcast team was insulting to the intelligence of true boxing aficionados. Why would you come about trying to hype this man as something that he is totally not? He's actually on his way out of the sport and at the age of 38, as soon as he takes on one of the young lions, he will be proven to be in a world of trouble. He missed countless right hands. He was very slow of foot. His punches didn't even have the same snap on them that they normally would. A fighter like Zeramenta, four to five years ago, would have been stopped in the first four rounds by Triple G, undoubtedly, unquestionably. The man can punch, he always could. But as far as facing stiff and high caliber opposition, he has always shunned away from that, claiming he to be of the Mexican style, whichever that means coming from him. He made certain not to fight certain fighters that were around the weight class, namely Andre Ward, who would have relished the opportunity to take on he and his drama show. I had remarked in the post-fight show that he's no longer Triple G, but 2G, because that third gear is no longer there. And as soon as he decides that he wants to try to fight someone of quality, he will be exposed. This is not bashing the man. This is an honest assessment about where he is and how far he has fallen off. He continues to bait that he wants to fight a rubber match with Canelo Alvarez, who has other plans ahead of him. But let's just talk about Alvarez for a moment. Maybe he should take the third fight with 2G. The reason being is since he is seeking out fighters now that he can look his best against, he could possibly look better than he ever has, including the fight with Sergey Devranchenko, where he stopped Devranchenko, I mean, his fight against Sergey Kovalev, where he stopped Kovalev in the late rounds. I believe now that Triple G has slipped so much that Canelo can stop him, middle to late rounds and it would look great on his dossier for him to be able to do so. He can also be handsomely paid for this, possibly more than any other fighter that he can face at this particular time. He should mull it over very closely because this will be an opportunity to finally get rid of the man and head for something better. It wouldn't surprise me in the least if, as frugal as they have been in the Alvarez camp selecting opponents, that they have decided to actually age Triple G out and face him when he's just about to turn 39 or 40. It will be an excellent stroke of genius. They will allow this man to slip on the further side of his career where he would absolutely have no chance against a now prime Canelo. What do you think? I do believe Sarah was just a pawn in all of this to continue to assist with making Triple G look formidable. But he is at the end of the road and they are not going to allow any of the current young lions to have at him they will take the face of boxing, as he has been called, Canelo Alvarez, and take on he in a final cash out match, which will see more than likely Alvarez stopping him or he stopping on his stool due to the fact that he can't take the punishment and he is 
strength and power are no longer a factor with a fighter as seasoned as Canelo, who beat him decisively in their second bout. What do you think about all of this? This is Stormy B-Man asking you to leave comments. Let's talk about it and let me know what do you think is on the horizon? Will 2G get that third fight against Canelo or will Canelo go on to greener pastures? Leave comments and we'll discuss. This is all I have for you at this time. Until the next time we speak, everyone remain safe. Please, peace to you all and happy holidays.